Dave of Flight Fab Aerospace in Windsor Mill, Maryland. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. And tonight I'm going to cut polarized, well actually it's the Comfort DRX, the Verilux Comfort DRX. Polarized G15 with a backside Crizol, sunshield as they call it. For the Ray-Ban 3025, this is color 2823 in the 58 eye size. And I don't know why they put them in the metal man sunglasses. More women now are wearing this than, than men. Traditionally, this was a men's sunglass. But now, like I said, a lot more women are wearing it than ever before. And so, take everything out. This is, of course, your Italian leather case. Ray-Ban cleaning cloth. Junk mail. But that's not what you came to see. You came to see me work on these things. Comes with a little plastic sleeve on the temple. And I'm going to take that off so I can get started. Let's just double check. That is the 58 eye size. So, let me begin. Here's something you normally don't see in my videos. A job tray, as they are called. For any, I've had requests on how to change the lenses out, and I'm going to show you. You need like a baking dish. A 9 by 11 baking dish. Get a dish towel or some paper towel, something in there. Because... There are four screws that you're going to take out on this pair. And if you drop one of them, you don't want it to hit a, a hard surface and bounce on the floor. You'll be on your hands and knees all night. So the first thing I'm going to do is program this shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 1450. By the way, I just want to say wholeheartedly the Flight Fab Aerospace is definitely the best aerospace fabrication building on the block. <laughs> Okay, that was funny to me when I thought of it, but apparently not. So, Phillips head screwdriver. I need a Phillips head screwdriver. And I'm going to do a little lefty loosey on the eye wire. I'm sorry, on the hinge screw. Right there is a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to loosen that a little bit, although it's probably going to come out all the way. Now I'm going to loosen the eye wire screw. And if that's not enough to get the lens out... And it is, although, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know in advance this frame can be problematic, so I'm going to do something with the lens still in there. I am going to put two dots on the lenses because I may have to trace the lens and not the frame. So, where's my pen? Come here, pen. I'm going to put two dots on here. Sorry, as I tilt my head up, I'm wearing a progressive lens also. And I have to raise my head up in order to see clearly at this range, at this distance. Okay. So, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. Oh, sure, you moan, but you'll be telling that joke tomorrow. Okay, so let's go ahead. You can undo this eye wire screw all you want, but the frame does not come apart until you do the hinge piece a little bit more there we go tighten everything back down do the same thing again you know they could do this with just two screws but this is a timeless design and I figured why change anything why make any improvements over 70 years I mean, come on, that would just make sense. Why would you want to do that? You know, why be difficult when you can be impossible? <laughs> okay, again, that was funny to me, no one else. Okay, the, the issue why I say this frame is problematic, it is so skinny. Sometimes the tracer doesn't even realize, acknowledge there's a frame in there. So we will see. I'm going to put this in here and... I hate these things flopping around, so I'm going to tighten that up a little bit more. Put that on there. Hit start. Let's see if it finds it. A little stylus is going to come up. Hey, how about that? It did find it. It's going around and tracing the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number 
So if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. By the way, quick test. This is Dave and his Oakley, Oakley 3174s. And this is his dog, George. Which one looks better? Pop quiz number one. Who looks better? Who looks better? We'll get back to that. I'll give you time to study. We're going to come down here, take the frame out, and enter in the pupillary distance, which is 30. Well, we got to move it on to the next screen. The computer starts at 32.5. It goes down in half millimeter increments to 30. I want to raise the optical sensors up to 28. Change the layout screen to progressive. And one of these is the right lens. That's it. It's got an aura on it. Get everything laid out. And check the lens is large enough. And it is. You know, let's go up one more. Let's just, let's go ahead. Hang on. Against my better judgment. The, the reason why I say that, we measure the optical center height, but it's not directly down. You actually want to go to the middle of the frame. Your eye is just going to be right here. But I want to move it up enough where the bifocal isn't cut off. So I'm going to measure, when the machine's measuring, it's measuring it from this point, not directly where the frame is sitting. So I'm going to give you an extra millimeter. Boy, I'm generous there. I'm just giving away millimeters like it ain't nothing. Never let it be said I didn't give you a millimeter. Give a man a millimeter, he'll take a centimeter. <laughs> he'll take a meter. Um, oh, those, you know, there's, uh, there are some metrics to that joke. Okay, that's all right, I'll stop. Hello, is this on? <laughs> okay, but I need a block to attach to your lens you've seen me put the sticker before so i'm just gonna pull the paper off and make sure everything is laid out perfectly be thinking about who looks better i'm coming back to that test in just a moment so place that onto the right lens we're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right just like me i ain't right but the part of the lens that ain't right will be played by the left lens tonight. Same pupillary distance, same optical center height. Get everything laid out. And voila. Make sure the lens is large enough. Look, it's using that, that quadrant to fit in there. And go. Now this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. We can go ahead and start. I'm going to turn on the shape, bring up the shape. Job number 1450. Number 1450. And where's my stylus? I need this to point with. These are polycarbonate lenses. <laughs> they were plastic, high-index plastic or Trivex. I would select that, but we're going to stay with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens. I'm not even going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. No safety bevel tonight, at least by machine. I'll do it by hand. Um, oh, you still got to put the lens in there. So press that on there firmly. Line up the magnet with another magnet there in the chuck. Hit start. The newly cleaned door will close. The clamp will shut. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it is large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape, and then the old, actually since there's no safety belt, it's not doing the second step. I'm going to go old school and do it by hand. Why? Because you change your mindset, change your life. And change your socks too. I'm starting to smell something. Okay, so let's get back to the quiz. Do you know who looks better? Dave, because he's wearing the Oakley 3174. If George was wearing glasses, it wouldn't even be close. George would look way better. So that's my million dollar idea. I'm coming out with glasses for dogs. And I'm going to take it to Shark Tank and see what they think. And then uh, when George walks Dave around, people will come up and ask if they can pet Dave. <laughs> Careful, does your owner bite? <laughs> no, well, he bit me. That is not my owner. And that was not my best Peter Sellers uh, impersonation. So where was I at? Oh yeah, your lenses. Look how thin I got those bad boys. 
I did a knife edge grind, thin as possible, which when you abbreviate knife edge grind, thin as possible, comes out to keg tap, which sounds like something you would do back in college. But I'm doing it now on your lenses. So yeah, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses, bulletproof up to an unknown caliber. Somebody shoot these and then get back to me with uh, how many bullets it took. How many bullets does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll lens? By the way, I'm proud to announce that starting next week, all lenses will be mercury free. So I've got that going for me. This is one of the last pair just chalk loaded with uh, mercury. But don't tell Dave. <laughs> they're also hyperallergenic. They're low in sodium. They're glucose free for now and uh, hopefully mercury free later on. So we're going to take the lens out. We're going to dance a little bit first. Okay, now we're going to take the lens out. I need a paper towel. The one I had is in there. That's the one I took out to use. I like my organizational system. It's very nice. So, look, you made it, Nelly, you made it into the video. She is uh, Robert's wife. I made his Versace's for him. Was it last night? Yes, last night. She couldn't believe how fast the turnaround time was, how happy the service was. She's asking me questions about her prescription. Nelly, I promised you I was just about to do a video. But if you email me your prescription, I will study it and answer your question as soon as I'm done. How's that for personal individualized service? So, okay, here's the thing. Loosen that hinge screw. I can't say it enough. Just enough where the whole thing does not come out. If it does come out, it'll land on something soft and not bounce. I'm going to loosen this one up, hopefully all the way, without taking it apart. You'll know when it comes off because this temple would just fall right out of there. I'm going to take oh, the lens. The reason why I did not put a safety bevel on there is for sunglasses when there's a safety bevel, it can give a white ring on these polarized edges. So I'm going to go very, very lightly, old school. This is a little handstone, just like the wheel. It's got the little V-shaped bevel right here. It's a softer material here. This is a rougher disc, same as the wheel here, that little V-shaped bevel. But I'm going to do it by hand here. Just like a small load of laundry. And literally it's the friction that is melting the edge. I can put my finger against this and it gets very hot. Friction. The friction. <laughs> Duh. Which Dave understands all too well. Friction. He does some really cool things. And he has to design all his engineering to work around the never-ending force of friction. So... We're going to tuck that in at the outside corner, keeping our fingers crossed. Get out of here, Boxy. You're in my way. You're cramping my style. And we're going to gently push that in there. In fact, you can start at the nose and gently push it in around the edges. It's in. Using my fingers to feel that it's in there all the way, making sure everything is lined up. Turn around, grab my Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to do this one closest to the lens first. That is the, the eye wire screw. You can see as I tighten that. It's going to close down all the way. Now we're going to tighten the end piece, the hinge screw. Whoo, we're halfway there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the left lens, flip that over to L. This is his Windsor Knot L right here, right there underneath his neck. Um, put that in there, hit start. I wish I could hit the end button and just go home, but I got more work I got to do. So just like before, it's going to trace the left lens, make sure it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's going around, tracing the shape. And then just like before, the cutting wheel starts, starts up, the lens is going to drop down. Water is back there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Cue the water. And we're going to pop the block off. Use my hand-approved drying method, throw that on there. Take the sticker, add it to my collection, which I've put up there now. And now I can't see anything. So I'm going to come back down here. Grab my pen. I don't know what I do with my second pen. Turn this on. All invisible bifocals have a little laser engraving. 
and they are 34 millimeters apart and that one is just right there I have this little layout here that with the same two dots put that on there I laid out in there right am I boring you guys if I'm not I can slow down and make this really boring oh let me yawn first what what am I gonna say what am I gonna say uh, you say it for me okay so back to work put the axis wheel on 110 why because it says it right there <laughs> Put it in over that black dot. Read the power, and I'm getting. I'm getting to the point I can't find my flashlight. You know you're getting old when you need a flashlight to find a flashlight. I'm getting 150, exactly halfway between one and two. That's because you need six steps of correction to see far away. You, with your glasses off, everything is much too small. When you put these on, it will magnify six steps. Now, once everything is the correct size. You have four steps of astigmatism correction in your right eye only. You got none in your left. That's your good eye. However, if you're right eye dominant, you need that in there. And we're going to check that at the 110 meridian, which we're already at. Check that, and we end up at plus 50. Exactly halfway between zero and one. How did we get there? If you started out with a dollar fifty and someone borrowed a dollar from you, you would end up with 50 cents in the black, and that's where we're at. Say that reminds me, Dave, let me hold a dollar. <laughs> I don't need any of y'all. I can play with myself. <laughs> you know, I grew up really poor and there are no generals in my toy soldiers collection. So I would go to the, my room and play with my privates. <laughs> Hang on, I'll keep this rated G. It's supposed to be family entertainment. So, I see Scraps as a boy dog. Doesn't he look like Scraps? <laughs> Any airplane fans out there? Very carefully loosen these screws. Do not drop them. If you, oh, safety bevel. If you drop these, you have to bend over, get on the floor, and look around for them. And while you're down there, look around for your dignity and self-respect. Who crawls around foraging on the floor looking for little tiny metal screws? Dave, I know you got one around there. If not, you can make your own screw. He's got a great machine shop. And what do I do? I play in the mud with a stick. <laughs> and feel good about it, too. That, you know, that's the crazy thing. Ignorance is bliss. So... Make sure everything is in there. I have to run my thumbnail around to get the rest of that optical sawdust off. Tighten the end screw, the hinge screw a little bit, and then go back and tighten that one some more. Just like my dad taught me when you're changing a, the tire, you don't tighten one lug nut back on. You tighten all five a little bit at a time until you get all five on there tight. So it's balanced on there. Same thing. Let me take this off. Dry that off with my hand. Use my back of the hand drying method. Use my forearm drying method. Use uh, use George's drying method. Throw that back in there. I'm gonna throw him a bone. Put that on there. Don't worry, you won't be like Larry. No one's gonna get harmed in the manufacturing of these glasses. So I'm gonna be gentle. You guys are nice enough to be repeat customers. I'm not gonna run anybody off. I might run myself off, but that's another story. Wouldn't it be great if you could fire yourself? Okay, somewhere on here is a dot. There it is. Little tiny lazy laser engraving. Still a little moisture on the lens. Let me dry that off. Just a little bead of water will throw me off. There's that one. Do that little layout. 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 Layout, come and I want to go home. No, seriously, I want to go home. But, Dave was kind enough to put up with my procrastination. <laughs> I need to get these back out. Put the power drum on what? Let's, let's just call it a one. 
What kind of number is one? Well, you know where you stand with one. So, one. I don't believe you heard me. I said one. So, PD, 60. Turn the car. Actually, this is the part where I find a white space, and I'm going to hold my PD stick against my thumb, and when we hold it up to the left lens, we are getting 60 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Can you guys see that? You guys paying attention? Let's check the 29. Don't forget I gave you an extra millimeter, and we're going to start out here. We're going to make it parallel to that dot, not right here, because that measures 23 and a half. We're going to come down here to the deepest point of the frame and then when you look it's just inside of the 30 millimeter mark we're going to do the same thing on this side or well, we're not going to measure that way let's turn this around this way 29 man the kid is good i better be i went to school for a day to learn how to do this so let me clean the lenses off where am i at paper towel tissue can anyone say sleep deprivation? I got like four hours of sleep last night. I don't know why some days are better than others or some nights, but I go through spells where I can't sleep. I know, TMI, right? But then there's times where I sleep really well. Too little information that time, right? Okay. But again, I'm seeing a psychiatrist. We're getting doctors. We're getting treatments. We're getting shots. We're getting injections. Although, the doctor did say I should probably drink a little bit before going to bed. And on a side note, I've started calling myself doctor. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't drink about that. I'm not even a teetotaler. I'm a water totaler. I'm telling you all these things about myself tonight. And not only do I only drink water, I only drink room temperature water. I don't drink ice cold water. My wife keeps water in the fridge. I keep water on the counter, a bottle whenever I need some. That's what I drink out of. It sits around all day, all night never bothers me that it's room temperature so this is what it's going to look like on him looks pretty good looks better on george i didn't want to say anything but it does it really really does it, it, it brings out his uh his collar doesn't it that look <laughs> actually this looks like he needs a collar <laughs> but uh, that's a whole nother story he's seeing doctors he's getting treatments he's getting injections we're working on that so that's it if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you didn't like what you've seen, please subscribe anyway and send me some money. My wife needs a new pair of shoes. And, uh, yeah. So, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as FreePrescriptionLenses.com. Uh, on Twitter as FreeRxLenses. If you have a question for me, you can email me directly at FreePrescriptionLenses at gmail.com. Yeah, I know that's a lot to type. That's why I have the Contact Me button on the website. Or you can leave a question or comment section below. Want to see something cool? Look at this. Are we getting any weird distortions? Because polarized block out glare and LCD screens are a glare source. What are we getting here? What are we getting here? I can't see. You guys getting any really cool weird prismatic effect? But that's that. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for the purchase of polarized comfort DRX. Polarized. That's the digital comfort, by the way. Um, for the Ray-Ban with a back surface Crizal anti-glare coating. I send out a selfie request to have your picture on the website. He's done that once. We're going to do it again. But yeah, the, I also send out instructions not only how to care for your frame and lenses, but for your case, the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth that's in the case, the Crizal cleaning cloth, and the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I'll provide that has way too small of a print, no matter what your bifocal strength is. But I'm working on that. I'm getting a new order in. So... And I'll send out new cloths that everyone can actually read the small print. But that's it. I'm going to go home and sleep. Thank you again for the purchase of the Verilux Comfort Polarized Green. The Polarized G15 lenses should look like these lenses. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. So, and again, this is the Ray-Ban 3025. This is the large aviator in the 58 eye size. There is a smaller 55 eye size. There is a larger 62 or 63 windshield size. And everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.